Good day. I'm sorry I cannot join the forum, but I'm happy that I'm able to uh, communicate with you, um, in particular about the concerns uh, that I expressed um, after my 2013 visit to Mexico and my 2016 follow-up report in my capacity then as uh, Special Rapporteur on Extrajudicial Executions, um, on the dangers inherent in allowing the military to perform policing functions. Um, the, 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 there's no doubt about the risk posed by narco-trafficking um, and the devastation that it causes in society. But the problem is that a military response um, stands a very good chance, and I think has shown, to actually uh, aggravate the situation. Uh, the problem with a military response is really that um, in doing so, the state um, treats its citizens uh, not as citizens but as enemies. Um, and the natural response is then that people will act in the same way that enemies do uh, during war. Um, and that escalates the situation. Military officers are trained uh, as a first resort to use deadly force. Police officers, on the other hand, um, are trained to use that only as a last resort. Um, and there's a very important difference um, between the entire message, the entire approach, and the likely consequences of using these various um, uh, security forces. It's not surprising, um, and I refer to that in my uh, 2016 follow-up report, um, that cases such as the one in Tlatlaya, where uh, 22 citizens were killed by the army, that the Human Rights Commission eventually find that 12 of them have actually been executed uh, by the military, and this was not done in the course of a shootout, um, as was initially claimed. Um, the long-term solution lies in uh, proper policing, um, and what is very concerning is that uh, it's already uh, uh, 10 years and more um, that the military have been used uh, in this capacity uh, as law enforcement officials, and one would expect that over time, that even if in emergency this needs to be done, that this will not become the permanent state of affairs. And that, for that reason, it is concerning uh, if the eventual idea is, is now to further give a legal backing uh, to the military playing the role of police officers. Um, if there are problems within the police, and that seems to be widely accepted, um, at least during the time when I was there on my visit, um, those problems need to be addressed, um, and a long-term approach of a military um, uh, uh, involvement in policing is one that is very certain to keep on escalating the situation instead of diffusing it. Thank you very much.